movie was wonderful. Welcome home, Mr. Toto. I must get ready for bed. I love my jewelry. It's so totally awesome. Um, <laughs> I'll guard the door for you, Miss Matoya. A little snooze. Miss Latoya won't mind. I don't want to hear a word out of you. entering down at uh, number four Benton. You for what? For Benton. I gotta go. I, uh, well, let's just get started. What's your name, miss? Miss Victoria Jones. Okay, and uh, when did the breaking and entering occur? Last night. Just last night at about what time? Um, well, I'm not quite sure because I just woke up by someone saying, Untie me, Miss Victoria, or something like and that. And who was being tied up? My butler. And what is his name? Frederick Martin. Okay. Um, when they broke in, did they take anything from you? My jewelry. Oh. <laughs> And uh, how much jewelry did they take? Almost a whole entire bowl full of it. Okay. Um, did you get a look at these people? No. Uh, but I'm sure my <laughs> butler did. Oh. Yes, okay. I got a really good look at them. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Frederick. I'll have to interview you later. Um, is there anything that you notice happening before you went to bed? Anyone say anything suspicious? <laughs> um, well, actually, I came home from the movies, got ready for bed. My fur coat, I don't know where that went. Oh, okay. Um, and I have another question. Did you notice anyone spying on you or any people following you lately? Watching your daily routines, by chance. Mm -hmm. Do you know who they are? No actual, actual clue. Okay. Thank you for your time. Hello, Mr. Frederick. Hello. 
Um, were you guarding the door at the time of the burglary? Yes. And did you get a look at the burglars? No, because I had ski maskers on. And they had guns, too. Jim, I just got an anonymous tip from a caller. You should go check out the old pool hall on State Street. I'll get right on it. Oh, it's just her. Hey guys, I sent him away. Where's my share? Share? We didn't talk about any shares. Yeah, we agreed on this, remember? 30, 30, 40. Well, that's not fair. He would have been on you guys by now if it hadn't been for me. We'll have to settle this a different way. Oh, it's just Johnny. I hope you got rid of the getaway car. Yeah, and I hope we can get rid of this dead body, too. Sorry, girls. It's Jimmy. What's behind this door? Man! Oh, my God. Put your hands in the air! You are under arrest. And you have the right to remain silent. Anything you do to say can be used against you in the court of law.